every girl, every boy, come on open up your eyes, there's a world right here. Fimbo. I'm trying to juggle with this pine cone. Cool, juggly wuggly woos. Can you show me how to do it? Oh, of course I can. Watch this. One, two, one, two, one. Oh! <laughs> um, I need some more practice. Have another go, Fimbo. One, two, one, two, one. Two, one, a boo! Oh, <laughs> rocket! Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> I know, Fimbo. Why don't you juggle with those apples? Hmm. No, I don't think apples are very good for juggling, Rocket. They're much better for eating. <laughs> now, I know. Let's take an apple to Pom and Flory. I'm hungry, so I bet they are too. Cool. That's a good idea, Fimbo. <laughs> I'll see if I can find a pink flower. Um, hmm. Now, which one's pink? Uh, oh, that one's pink. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm getting that fumbling feeling. <laughs> I can hear a sound It's telling me there's something Waiting to be found Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there Let's go and see well, There is something to be found here um, Is it here? No uh, Or is it there? <laughs> it anywhere. Um, um, oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, this feels hard and cold. I wonder what it is. <laughs> it looks like a basket. So this could be a handle. Um, oh, there's another handle here. Um, Oh, hello, little. Hello, Flory Loaf. <laughs> oh, Bessie, Bessie, look what I found. Ooh, are you going shopping? Oh, why? Oh, because you found a shopping basket, Flory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a shopping basket like mine, Bessie. Yes, they're going shopping. She's putting things into the basket. Oh, look, bananas. Oh, apples. <laughs> Lots of things to buy. Maybe she's going to buy some bread. Oh, yes they are. Now they have to take everything out again to pay for them. 
you can get lots of things into a shopping basket. <laughs> yes, they're very useful. Come on, Ribble. Let's see what we can put in my basket. Oh, oh what can you see? Uh, over there? Oh, <laughs> this must be one of Bessie's feathers. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ribble. I'll put it into my shopping basket. There we go. A tisk, it's a task, it's a feather in my basket. Now I need to find lots of things to put inside. of cheeping ribble. What's the matter? Oh, that's funny. I'm sure I put the feather in my shopping basket. <laughs> Was it you, Ribble? <laughs> oh, where could it be? Hmm, right. Now, how many apples do I need for everyone? And um, one for Flurry. One for Flurry. <laughs> one for Pom. One for Pom. And one for me. <laughs> <laughs> one for Fimbo. Hmm. One, two, three. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm, right. Um, uh, I haven't got enough hands. Fimbo, Fimbo, look at Pom find. Hello, Pom. Oh, a tickle, tickle! <laughs> <laughs> That's a very pretty feather, Pom. Did you find anything else? Oh, uh, a Pom find. Hmm. Now then, Ribble, I wonder if I can find anything else to put into my basket. A tisket, a tasket, I found a shopping basket. Now I want to find lots of things to put inside. Oh, oh have you found something else, Ribble? Oh! oh one, two! <laughs> oh, two pine cones! Oh, thank you, Ribble. I'll put them into my shopping basket. One, two, pine cones! way to pick up these apples. Um, oh, I'm hungry, so this time I'll go first. One apple for me. Oh, one for Fimbo. Fimbo, look, look, Palma find funny things. Oh, you found some pine cones, Palm. Oh, hello, pine cones. Did 
did you find anything else? Oh, uh, uh, come find more. Oh, oh, Ripple, have you found something else? Oh, <laughs> oh, little one. Oh, I wondered where you'd got to. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ribble. I know. I'll put little one safely into my shopping basket. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are. Now don't go away, little one. Hmm, I wonder if there's something else to find. into my shopping basket. <laughs> oh, it's all very strange, Ribble. I'll go and ask the others if they've seen all my things. Oh, Rocket, there must be a way I can pick up all these apples. Um, I know. You could try to juggle them. <laughs> but I don't want to juggle the apples, Rocket. I want to take them to Pom and Flory so we can eat them. <laughs> Oh, hello, little one. <laughs> um, did you find Florrie as well? Florrie? Oh, no Florrie. Oh. Pop find Florrie now. Oh, uh... Mm. <laughs> oh, um, how am I going to carry three apples when I only have two hands? Oh, Fimbo, look what I found. A shopping basket. Oh, yes. All you need now is something to put in it. Oh, I know. Well, I did have Bessie's feather in my basket. That's funny. But then it was gone. And I put two pine cones in my shopping basket and then they were gone. That's very funny. <laughs> and I put little one in my shopping basket and then she was gone. Oh, <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> oh, what's yeah. so funny? <laughs> Flurry, I think I know where to find all the things that were in your shopping basket. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, little one! Pom wanted to show me all the things she'd found. Pom? Oh, Pom took them out of my basket. Well, now I can put them all back in again. My feather, my pine cones, and little one. Thumbo, why are you holding those apples? Oh, well, I've been trying to pick up three apples, but I only have two hands. How can I carry them all? <laughs> you need my shopping basket, Fimbo. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, someone's been busy shopping. Oh, it was me, Rolly. I found a shopping basket and then I found lots and lots of things to put in it. But Pom kept taking them out again. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I think I have a story about shopping. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes, oh, yes. please. <laughs> right oh. Back in a roly mo. <laughs> books over here, books over there, books, books everywhere. When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, now, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes, Rolly. Then I'll begin. Now, this story is all about shopping. I need to go shopping. I've made a list. Bread, apples and eggs. Is there something I've missed? I've so little time, so I walk very fast. Ah, here are the shops at last. This is the baker's, but what's going on? 
No sign of a loaf, not even a crumb. The baker's unhappy. I'm sorry to say our oven is broken. There's no bread today. No bread? Oh dear, no bread to buy. But there's somewhere else that I could try. At the greengrocer's is a very long queue. So while I wait, I look at the view. There are hundreds of fruits piled up very tall. But can you believe it, no apples at all. No apples? Oh dear, no apples to buy. But there's somewhere else that I could try. I like to buy eggs at the farmer's shop. But the egg van today had to suddenly stop and all the boxes fell wide open. And yes, every single egg was broken. No eggs. Oh dear, no eggs to buy. There is not a thing on my list I can buy. But there's somewhere else that I could try. The supermarket is huge and wide, with lots of different things inside. So many things it isn't funny, because I've just spent all my money. No money, oh dear, no money to spend. But at least I found everything in the end. The person in the story found all the shopping they wanted. Just like me. Yes, you found little one. And the pine cones. And the feather. <sighs> look, you what? Pom find apples. Oh, look, Pom's been shopping. <laughs> uh, I want a thimble. Oh, thanks. Uh, I want a foley. Oh, thank you, Pom. And I want a pom. <laughs> <laughs> Day. The Fimbles had a busy day today. Do you remember who found the shopping basket first? <laughs> yes, it was Flory. Flory found the shopping basket. And then she wanted to find things to put in it. But <laughs> every time she put something in her basket, Pom took it out. <laughs> A Flory didn't know, did she? <laughs> yes, but you knew, didn't you, my clever little feathery darling? <laughs> Thimble was trying to carry all the apples in his hands. What he really needed was Flory's shopping basket. <laughs> and wasn't it funny when Pom took the apples out of the shopping basket? <laughs> Have you ever been shopping? Perhaps you helped to put the things in the shopping basket. Come and find us next time, won't you? I must fly. Goodbye. Every girl, every boy.
<laughs> a poo! Oh! oh, Rocket! You made me jump! Help! I'm coming! Come find Sully! Oh, the <laughs> Rocket made me jump on! Oh, jump! Did you say jump? Why, certainly! Oh! Ho -ho. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rocket! Uh, Pom hide now, Pom hide! All right, off you go then, Pom. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! Coming, ready or not! <laughs> Pom, I'm coming to find you! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm getting that thimbling feeling. <laughs> oh, the thimbling feeling. <laughs> How exciting. I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Oh, there is something to be found here. <laughs> is it here? Oh, no. <laughs> or is it there? Oh. Can you see it anywhere? Um, um, um. <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, oh, what have you found, Flurry? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, but you feel it, Rocket. It's all soft and cuddly. Can I? Can I feel it too? <laughs> oh, yes, it's, it's all soft. <laughs> Cool. It's sort of bouncy, too. <laughs> oh, just like you, Rocket. Cool. What a super duperty fine, Flurry. Oh, I wish I could be a thimble. Oh, but Rocket, you're a rocket. A special funny rocket frog. You're our best friend. Oh, but I'd like to find something just once. It must be such fun getting the fimbling feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chucky Eggs. May an old bird ask what you've got there? Ooh, I say, look what you found. A stripy cushion. What's she doing, Bertie? Well, she's sewing on her sewing machine. Oh. <laughs> That's stripy, just like me. <laughs> I wonder what she's making. Hmm. Oh, look! They've made a bag and they're putting something into it. <laughs> yes, they're putting lots of filling in. Can you guess what it's going to be? <laughs> I don't know, but it's very messy. <laughs> it looks like tippity toppity fun. <laughs> Oh, it's a cushion! A stripy cushion like ours! Oh, he's cuddling the cushion. It's all soft like ours, too. <laughs> cool! Do you know what this looks like, Flurry? <laughs> it looks like a cushion rocket. Ah, no. It looks like you. It's stripy. Oh! <laughs> um. Maybe I can be a thimble after all. Oh, what do you mean, Rocket? Put the cushion up here, Flurry. OK. <laughs> Look, this cushion can be my thimble tummy. Now I can be a thimble, and maybe I'll get the thimbling feeling and find something too. <laughs> thimbly, thimbly. <laughs> steady, steady, Rocket. <laughs> Thimbles don't bounce like frogs do. Oh, sorry, Bessie. <laughs> but I'm starting to feel like a thimble already. Now all I need to do is find something. Yes, yes. Rocket needs to find something. Hmm. I wonder if Thimble and Pom can help. I'll go and see. There you are, Rocket. Uh. I tied the cushion on for you. 
You're a thimble now. Oh, I'm just like a thimble. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Why don't we sing our thimble song? You bet. <laughs> a thimbles, a thimbles, thimbles. A where the thimbles, thimbles, a thimbles, a thimbles. A where the thimbles. <laughs> Flurry, uh, if I'm really a thimble, then uh, maybe I should have a crumble cracker now. Oh, yeah. of course you should, Rocket. I'll go and get you one. <laughs> <laughs> a thimbles, a thimbles, a thimbles. So you see, my lovelies, Rocket is wearing the stripy cushion as his tummy. And he's pretending to be a thimble. <laughs> Essie, why does Rocket want to be a thimble? Ah, well, you see, he wants to get the thimbling feeling. <laughs> and find something really special, just like the thimbles do. Ah. So, we need to find something for Rocket to find. Mm. Ah, Pom now, Pom now. What is it, Pom? Drum, Rocket like drum. Oh, now, that's a good idea, Pom. You're such a sensitive little thimble. He does love a drum, don't he? Yes, he does. Have you got a drum by any chance? No. No drum. No, we haven't got a drum, but we could always make one, couldn't we, Bessie? <laughs> of course you could. You've both got nimble thimble fingers and you're good at making things, so I'll leave you to it. Jenny, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> That's right, Pop. Come on, let's make a drum. We are push, push. There we are. <laughs> Good. And push down. There we go. Oh, Simba, hmm? I just want to watch this bit now. Oh, <laughs> good idea, Pom. I'll put it somewhere for Rocket to find, and you go and say hello to Rocket. <laughs> Rocket Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket will be so pleased. <laughs> La la la, la la la, something, something, a thimble. <laughs> ah. Hello, Rocket. Oh, hello, Pom. Look at me. I'm the new thimble. I'm Rocket, the thimbling frog. Oh, Rockety Thimble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a Rocket Thimble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all this hugging. I love being a thimble. Sing, sing. Thimbles, thimbles, a thimbles, a where the thimbles, thimbles, a thimbles, thimbles, a where the thimbles. Oh, 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 I'm feeling the fimbling. Uh, I'm fumbling the finding. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the fimbling feeling. Ah! <laughs> Rocket! <laughs> I'm all right. I fell on me cushion. <laughs> hey, ho, oh, look at me. I am the fimbling frog. Oh, oh I'm getting the fimbling. Uh, I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, what could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> How exciting. What am I going to find? Is it over there? Can you see it anywhere? Uh, <laughs> Look at that. That must be my find. Cool, tippity toppity. What a thimbly find. Oh, look at find. <laughs> hmm. Now I wonder what it can be. What are you? Are you a big cake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You're not a cake. What are you then? Oh, 
I know what you are. You're a drum. And you're going to make a noise. A lovely rockety noise. Hey! hey this is fun. Hit. Oh. Hit. Oh. Hit. Oh. Oh, dear. I can't jump very high with this big tubby. But I want to jump up and touch the sky. Oh. oh, hello, Rocket Thimble. What have you found? Oh, oh, hello. I found this drum. Look. Hello, drum. Oh, what a great find, Rocket. Oh, I know, but cool. It's hard work being a thimble too. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> hello, Rowley. Bye, bye. Oh, you're looking very, very fimbly today, Rocket, if I may say. Oh, thank you, Rowley. That's because, <coughs> well, I am a fimble today. Oh, oh are you now? Oh, <laughs> you see, I'm not Rocket the Frog anymore. I am a fimble, and I've got my very own fimbling feeling. And look what I've found. Oh, yes. Well, you know, I think I've got a story about that. A oh, story? Story? <laughs> Back in a roly mo. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fiddle or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Now then, Fimbles. <laughs> yes, we're all Fimbles, aren't we? <laughs> right. Are you all sitting comfortably? <laughs> oh, yes, thank you, Rowan. Yes. <laughs> Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Rabbit Who Wanted to Bark. One morning, Rabbit was wiggling her nose and twitching her ears as usual, when suddenly she stopped. I'm fed up with just wiggling my nose and twitching my ears, she said. I'm going to do something different. So Rabbit thought and thought for a long time about what she could do. Then a horse came along. Nee, said Horse. Woof, woof, said the Rabbit. Woof, woof. Aren't you feeling very well, Rabbit? asked the kindly Horse. Woof, said Rabbit. A sheep came along. <coughs> said Sheep. Woof, woof, said Rabbit. Hmm, said the Sheep. Are you a rabbit or are you a dog? I'm a rabbit, but I haven't done much barking before. This is my first day. Well, dogs bark at everything and chase everything and sniff around smelly bits of grass. Oh, said Rabbit. So all day long Rabbit barked and sniffed and chased. But the barking began to give her a headache and she got fed up with chasing things. A long way off she could hear the other rabbits playing. She twitched her ears. It's a good thing rabbits have long ears for listening, she said. Rabbit could smell the grass the other rabbits were eating. She wiggled her nose. It's a good thing we have wiggly noses for smelling. She kicked up her legs behind her. It's a good thing rabbits have strong legs for running. And she ran all the way home, happy to be a rabbit once again. So, Rocket, do you still want to be someone else? Well, I liked getting the fimbling feeling. And I loved finding this. <laughs> we knew you would. <laughs> but 
I like being a rocket frog even better. Yay! <laughs> and why is that rocket? Well, because when I'm a rocket frog, I can jump really high. And a rocket frog is a thimble's best friend. So let's rock till we hop, you funky thimblets. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I want you all to listen very carefully I want you to tell me Who a thimble's best friend could be It's really just as simple as One, two, three Is it a butterfly or is it a bee? Is it a blue galoo? No, it's me R-O-C-K-I-T My name's Rocket A rocket, that's me R-O-C-K-I-T Rocket, 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 that's me! A wibble, wobble dee top of tea there's only one rocket and that is me! And rocket frogs can still eat crumble crackers! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> found out a lot today, didn't they? Can you remember who found the cushion first, my little squibbly nibble? <laughs> oh, that's right. It was Flurry. Flurry found the cushion. And what happened next, my scrumptious bumptious? <laughs> yes, Rocket pretended the cushion was his thimble tummy. <laughs> and then he found something really special. Yes, you clever little chickadee. It was a drum. And then, in the end, Rocket was happy being a frog again, jumping up and down on the lovely soft cushion. You could bounce up and down on a cushion just like a rocket frog. Come and find us next time, won't you? I must fly. Goodbye.